All right, welcome back to So Political. We continue in the gauntlet right now, and uh, we're gonna talk about uh, payday loan scams. Payday loan scam. So mm. check it out. I read an article about Wells Fargo. They, Wells. Just, they just recently purchased a gang of uh, you know money trees or whatever you want to call it. You cash know. lenders, right? Cash loan, payday loans, and their plan is to put them in more rural, rural ghetto, poor areas, so to speak. Mm -hmm. uh, and they want to put a three hundred percent interest on their loans which means by the time you pay back a loan that you use just to pay your light bill you've paid triple what that light bill even cost so how is it the country's already broke and they're still coming up with schemes to, to break us even more <laughs> yeah, like Chris Rock was saying I had to save up to be broke crazy I so don't know, think I about think, that I think that's messed up because loan. here we are like I said in 16 trillion dollars mm -hmm. worth of debt and then you have all these people who are going out, you know, expecting to get a real legitimate loan because they have bills to pay. I mean, people are struggling. Mm -hmm. I know people say the economy's getting better, and I hope and pray it is. Right. But, you know, the reality is a lot of people out there still struggling, so right. they go and get these loans, and it's almost like the housing scandal where, you know, people were giving these loans knowing that they weren't going to be able to pay it back, and they slap a, a huge interest rate on right. it. And then now people are slaving away trying to get rid of this loan that they, you know, otherwise could have got a more simple one and been and been cool and, and, been and, and, the, and the statistics i believe i read somewhere is that they'll probably pass on some of that loan to their children first off but real talk with, can, can, can i be real with you though real talk right Please now do. that is the problem with america right now with the world right now is that these blood sucking organizations now i i got a gym membership like the next person <laughs> You know, my wife shops for, for toiletries at Walmart like the next person. I'm not saying I don't. I'm not being a hypocrite. But So Political is all about us letting them know that we are aware, fully aware, of our social economic environments. Do you understand me? Facts. You know what I mean? And so these corporations will, will literally kick us when we're down. And we, and we don't see it as that. And everywhere we go, we're bombarded with these corporations. Everything about them. Commercials, yep. you can't click on a video on YouTube everywhere. without commercial. Can't listen to the radio without commercials. And we're just being sold to, sold to. And it's like we worship these corporations. Like, I'll tell, I'm pretty sure somebody's going to watch this and go get a payday loan <laughs> next week when they can't pay their phone bill. No, I'm not downing you if you need a loan. But what we're trying to say is that... Uh, what, what don't we, be I, strangled by them. Here's the thing. Be yourself. Have never try. Never give away that that freedom that you have. Live below your means, and it, it, it's hard. It's tough, but you have to live below your means because if not, you're gonna get in situations where now you're owing someone, you know, a large amount of money for something. If you just saved up for a few months, you could have got debt free.